Do you want to jailbreak your Nintendo Switch? Well, you came to the right place. Because today, I'm going to show you step-by-step step how to jailbreak your Switch as well as setting up different things such as an Emunand, Exosphere, and custom themes. Links to everything I used are in the description as well as timestamps for the different sections of this tutorial. So let's get started. As per tradition, let's make a list of everything you'll need to jailbreak your Nintendo Switch. An ancient Switch from 2017. If your Switch is from late 2017 or early 2018, type in your Switch's serial number on this website linked in the description to see if it can be modded. A micro SD card over 32 gigabytes. You can use a 32 gigabyte card if you don't plan to create an Emunand, but keep in mind most Switch games are over 7 gigabytes, so 32 isn't a lot anyway. An RCM jig. Inflation is crazy because I bought mine for $2, but I see these going for over $8 on Amazon now. You might as well just make your own. Atmosphere custom firmware and Fuzi.bin, Tegra RCM, Hikate, Sig Patches, the Homebrew App Store, and an app to format your SD card to FAT32. Now that you have everything you need, take out your SD card and throw it at your computer. So now now that you have all of these downloaded and extracted, we are going to open the FAT32 formatter. By the way, before we format our SD card, if you want to save all your screenshots and video recordings that you have on your Switch, make sure you go into your SD card, go into the Nintendo folder, and then album, and then all of these are where your videos and screenshots are going to be. So just make sure you create a backup of these somewhere on your desktop. Make sure you don't select your hard drive or else you're going to format it and I, I don't know, it'll probably break your computer. So just make sure you select your SD card. For allocation unit size, it's going to be on 32,000 by default. And you could just keep it as this and then name it to whatever. I like what this says. You guys should totally do it. But then just make sure you select quick format and then click start. And after that's done, you can click close. And now that your card is formatted, we can drag all the folders onto it. So I'm going to open file explorer, go to switch SD, put this on one side, and then I'm going to open these one by one and just drag them to where they go. And for the fuzzy.bin and app store and row that we installed, we're going to take this fuzzy.bin and put it inside bootloader, payloads, and drag it inside of here. And then app store.nro, we're going to put it inside the switch folder. After that, put your SD card back in your switch and turn it off. Oh, wait, it should have already been off before you took your SD card out. Um, my bad guys. Open Tegra RCM, go to settings, click install driver. And once that installs, go back to payload, click the file icon and select the Hakate bin from the Hakate folder we extracted. Now that you did that, you can take out your RCM jig and put it on the right Joy-Con rail. We're going to line it up. I can't line it up because I'm looking through the camera and we're just going to slide it down until it can't move anymore, which is about right here. So now that you did that, all you have to do is hold down the volume up button and the power button and then all you have to do is plug it back in and then integra rcm it should say rcm okay and now that it says rcm okay you can safely let go of it if you want to and now all we have to do is click inject payload and hakate will show up on our switch now is a good time to create a backup of your sysnan in case you ever need to revert to a safe version of your switch so go to tools backup emmc and backup emmc boot zero win boot one and emmc raw gpp when we create our emunan later backing it up is the same process but make sure you turn on sd emu mmc raw petition. Keep in mind, creating a backup takes about 20 minutes, so I'm not going to do it. But if you decide to, after it's done, you drag the backup folder to a safe place on your computer and can delete it from your SD card. You might notice that when you go into launch, it says no oh main boot God. entries found. That's because we need to modify the Hakate IPL file inside the bootloader folder to add some boot entries. So Hakate actually has something built into it, which allows you to access your SD card without having to take it out. So all we have to do is go into tools, click USB tools, and then click SD card. And now that we have that, all we have to do is plug it back into our computer and our SD card will actually show up on our computer. So now what we're going to do is go into bootloader and then open the Hakate IPL any with notepad or notepad plus plus if you're famous and better than normal notepad. In the description, I left down a boot thing that I set up for you guys. So all you have to do is copy and paste that into here. There we go. And after you do that, you can click save. And while we're here, let's also set up Exosphere. Cue the voiceover because I'm terrible at talking on the spot. Exosphere is used to block your Emunan from connecting to Nintendo servers so you can do all the weird modding stuff you want to without worrying about being banned. So go to the atmosphere folder, config templates, and open exosphere.ini. Setting blank prod info emu mmc to one makes your serial number get blanked out in settings, and it says it's not recommended to do this, but I turn it on anyways because it makes me feel like a hacker. If you don't want to though, you can keep everything the same and drag exosphere.ini to the root of your SD card. Now it's time to set up your emunan. To set up the emunan, we're going to click emu mmc. No, we're not. I'm a liar. We're going to go to tools and then click partition SD card. So for the emunan, you have to give it 29 gigabytes of storage. That's why earlier I recommended that you get a card that's over 32 gigabytes. But anyways, where it says emu MMC raw, we're going to take this and just drag it all the way to 29. It'll tell you when it's full. And once you do that, you can click next step, start, and then you just click the power button to confirm it. So it actually does it. And there we go. It finished partitioning it. So now we can just click okay, click close, go back to home. And now we're actually going to click the emu MMC button. And then we're going to click create emu MMC SD partition, and then choose part one, which is the thing that we partitioned earlier. And now you just got to wait a while for this to finish. 
Now we can go to launch and choose Emunan to see if it works. Yay, it worked. Guys, by the way, if you have games installed, they will show up on your Emunan. But remember, this isn't your stock switch, so you shouldn't reinstall them here. What you should do is go into data management and delete all these games. And if you want to reinstall them onto your Emunan, you can, uh, you know, there's ways to get a 100% discount on them if you're interested in that. But anyways, now that we have a working Emunan, let's get a custom theme on it. So what we're going to do is go into the album and then go into the homebrew app store, which we installed earlier. Now inside here, we're going to go down to where it says themes and we're going to install NX theme installer and themes are NX. After those are installed, we're going to go back into the album and then we're going to go to NX themes installer. It's going to pop up this warning that you have to extract the home menu first. So we're going to click OK to do that. And now it's going to do it. After that's done, you can just click OK. It gives you the warning saying that you should uninstall the themes if you ever update atmosphere. But anyways, after that's done, we can close out of this by clicking quit. And now we can go to themes are NX. Inside here, you just got to look for a theme that you think is cool. All right, so let's go with Splatoon Graffiti. This one looks cool and it's actually animated. So let's let's see what this is about. We're going to click install and now it's going to download the theme. And now all we have to do is go back into NX theme installer and then you should see the theme that we queued show up here. So now we're going to click that. We're going to click home menu, click this, click this. Now it's going to be installing it and it says done. Restart the console to apply changes. I don't actually want to restart the whole entire console and do like that whole RCM thing. So all we're going to do is click reboot and it's going to put us back into Hakate. And then inside of here, we can just launch it to the Emunand again. And if this worked, we should see the theme appear. So what I installed is just a theme theme. So we're only going to see it after I get past the lock screen, but there's something called theme packs where it has a custom lock screen, custom setting screen, custom friend screen. So you can download that also if you want everything to look cool. But anyways, if this worked after I get past the lock screen, we should see the custom theme. Please work. I'm going to look real dumb if it doesn't. And there we have it. That looks sick. Oh my goodness. But yeah, I have a custom theme. I'm in the Emunand. Everything appears to be working. This is awesome. Hopefully this guide helped you mod your Switch. And if it did, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more modding content. Bye.